My name is Eric Loper, Director of Golf Ball R&D over here at TaylorMade. I hear there's a lot of interest up at Golf Town about the TP5 and TP5X. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through how we make it. So the TP5 and TP5X starts with the polybutadiene inner core. That core starts with polybutadiene rubber. We add ingredients to adjust for compression, speed, and weight. And we mix that rubber with those ingredients in a two-roll mill. And eventually, we sheet it out in something that looks like this. And what we'll do is we'll roll it up, create preps, and compression mold a core. And as it comes out, it looks like this. It has some flash on there. We grind this uh, core with a, a centerless grinding process so that it's perfectly round. And it sets us up for the next process. Using retractable pin injection molding, we start with pellets in pellet form. And what we do is we inject that material through this runner system, through the gates, and into the cavity. Now it's called retractable pin injection molding because we place that insert inside that cavity. Keep in mind there's going to be a top half as well. That material gets injected through these gates and into the cavity. When that material is now supporting that insert, these pins get retracted and the materials will fill the void. And so as the part comes out, it looks like this. And if we were to cut this in half, you can see that it's nice and centered. Now we do that for three layers, all thermoplastics. And what we do with each of those three layers from a design perspective is we start with a material that's going to be very soft. And we increase in stiffness, which each of the layers, actually the stiffest layer is going to be that the inner cover layer. And that's what's going to help uh, create the pinch around the green to give players excellent green side control with that cast urethane. We start with an A component and a B component. Those two materials are mixed. Once we start mixing, that material starts to gel. We pour that material into a cavity and we insert the mantle into that cavity and we hold it there until that material has set enough so that it's going to support that mantle so it doesn't want to shift. And we do the same on the second half and then we close the mold base. The part comes out looking like this, and you can see that there's a flash on there from the parting line. And what we do is we use a seam buffing process that removes that flash by cutting and polishing to minimize the, the look of the seam on the golf ball. From this point, we paint, we apply several coats of paint that protect the urethane, uh, and then we stamp our logo on it. With the golf balls that we make here in our lab, we take out, we do a lot of mechanical testing, uh, robot, T to green, durability testing, and eventually we take them out to the tour players to give us feedback. And once we've received feedback, we come back and reiterate on that process, or we go to market. So hopefully that gives you a little background on how we make the TP5 and TP5X.